game's so loud. Just the shuffler went wrong. But by the time I was going to switch over to Oracle, I didn't feel like I had enough time to finish the game, and I really don't want to just break it up into a thousand tiny pieces. I don't know. Stream's been, stream's been just kind of uh, doing whatever I feel like ever since my computer ate shit. I survived the the pillar and still ate shit. Amazing, love it. I was so focused on the pillar, I didn't I didn't even see the bullet until I already got hit by it. You say, Bob. I tried to get out of there. I was looking for the opening between the lasers.
I can certainly try. Oh my god, if I hadn't moved up, I that might have been enough time for me to finish it off. That was... That... Giving me two of that phase in a row was honestly a, a small mercy that I did not take advantage of. Yeah, I whipped one of the chakrams so I was waiting for it to... Let me throw another one. That cost me. I probably could have. I probably could have won on that attempt. Otherwise, boom. <laughs> my chakrams I was gonna have to get lucky with a with a katana but Shuriken, because that's a garbage weapon, and I would not pick it up. Yeah, I could have done spears. Should have just thrown a chakram, but I didn't know how long it was gonna be. Fuck. Well, I'm definitely not afraid of the ghost lord. I mean, he's dead. I honestly don't see how that's fair to continue bullying him. got me good.
Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I ran into the bottom of a pillar. Are you kidding me? I got a real good feeling about attempt number 533. I got a real good feeling about this one. I went up too high to try to save it there. Fuck. I don't know what I was talking about before, but I got a real good feeling about 534. I don't have a good feeling anymore. That was a <laughs> that was an unwinnable scenario, huh? How about that? Hey, Volks, have you seen me? I mean, I know it's been a while, but remember, I'm I'm six foot five and I'm scrappy. I don't worry about myself in a fight. I, I tried to, th <laughs> I tried to throw a chakra. I was like, I need to survive this.
I'm really not looking forward to, so I said in discord that um, I'm probably not gonna try to ever do a full damageless playthrough of this it's just proving to be too unpredictable for it to be fun but that I might want to try doing a one-hit KO one finger playthrough and uh, I'm not looking forward to the Palenque fight in that that sounds like a nightmare I just got murked. I still need to do an all character endings run of this game. It's just such an intimidating prospect. I'm sure it's not actually that bad to do. I'm sure that you can casually bang one out if you have a few notes about things to remember, but the prospect of doing an all-character endings run sounds daunting. I gambled that his next move was going to be the slow crawl. That was a dumb gamble. <laughs> I mean, the alternative, the al I mean, uh, in, in my defense, the alternative was to chill out out of the way of him and gamble on the pillar, so. Uh, yeah, all the character endings requires you to kill the big boss in Hell Temple. Is it kill the big boss or get the get the provocative bathing suit? One of those things triggers an extra ending. Yeah, probably Bob. Man, I gambled big time there. I don't regret it, but I definitely should have um, paid closer attention to lasers to maybe duck out. I don't know that I've ever gotten an extra character in Rando just for getting the provocative bathing suit. Like I just, I don't know what the trigger is, is all I'm trying to figure out. It's probably delivering the suit to Mulbrook. I wanted to react to the pillar coming, and I gotta tell you, that is not reactable. I don't care. I don't care what anyone who's named worse says. That is not. That pillar is not reactable.
Pillar has 4 HP. Too much for me to throw just one shuriken. Too much for some melee weapons. They're 7 seconds. They're, they're exactly 7 seconds apart. Unfortunately, the part of my brain that, uh, you know, does a little ding every 7 seconds was removed when I was a child. So I'm, like, ill-equipped for this task. But if you still have that part of your brain that automatically dings exactly every 7 seconds, then this might be a little easier for you. I'm not taking feedback on Palenque strategies from La Mulana Classic players. <laughs> you can't just fire off 10 flares before the fight even starts and end it prematurely. It's 17 flares. Y'all are cheaters. Please give me a good... Fuck you. Please do a normal pattern, you fucker. I'm gonna send an email to Naramura asking for a Mulder plush. Bob, are you one of those people who knows exactly one combo? I hope so. I'd like to imagine Bob playing a fighting game, and he does the one combo over and over, and, like, just wins <laughs> a lot because of it. I, what am I supposed to do about the options that just hover inside of him? They're fucked up! What's that guy's name from Street Fighter with the long arms? Bob, do you main that guy? Do you mean the guy with the long arms? Dalsum, that's it. Ryu? Ryu's a short arm fuckboy.
Ba -da -ba -ba. Imagine collecting your lost souls in this game. Fuck. Right. You know, he's he's literally only got one move for where that's a safe place for me to stand. And I always go there anyway. I will never learn. What did I get? Oh, I went down into one of the bullets, I guess? I was just trying to dodge that laser. There's so much going on. Okay, I have a new theory about how I might be able to win. Maybe. If I only throw two chakrams on the first pass and then just wait for another good attempt and get like another four or five in, that might be enough to deal the damage. If I only deal, t if I only throw two though, that means that the uh, the um, extra options won't spawn yet because they only spawn at half his health. I do believe I got played there. They spawned when he's taking a third? I thought they spawned when he took half. Oh, is it the smoke that comes out when he's down to half? Is that what I'm thinking? Maybe the smoke's two thirds then. Toss, sir. Well, I learned today that they ripped this fight off of Gradius. Can you believe they'd steal something from Gradius? Can you believe that the GR3 project would steal something from Gradius? I've, I've never been so disappointed. Oracle's going pretty good right now. No, by the time I got around to switching to Oracle, I didn't want to play Oracle anymore. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate that. Indeed.
I'm starting to think that Naraminai had it easy when he played at 32 HP. That's way easier than one hit KO. Oh my god, I- I was- oh man, I went- my- the ape in my brain just started hooting and hollering. I was like, this is my chance to finally kill those fucking options. Oh ho, ho ho! Got you, you fricker. Oh no, he's got me. Fuck me. I was already dodging two things at the same time, and then a third thing came and killed me. <laughs> I couldn't figure out my way in there. Not very smart. Fuck. 
Oh god damn it. They got like desynced. How why why is it they start off firing on the same pattern and then they get desynced with each other? Do you think that they were programmed to desync to make them harder? That doesn't sound right. Well, they hated that for me. What was going on with it before, but we'll get BizHawk, I'll probably put BizHawk running later and just let it run and see if my computer acts up again. Okay. Well, if you need anything in the meantime, please let me know. Are you done streaming? No, I'm probably gonna do a little Kaiser Iron Man unless you're. Uh, I'm probably gonna do two. Cool. Alright, have fun. Babe. Thanks, babe. I did hit the bricks. Or I got hit by the bricks, I don't know. Okay, so they're just gone now? Alright, that seems appropriate. Should I go get the extra chakrams? Maybe I should. Just to make my life easier.
could not figure out my opening there. I feel like I'm really dependent on Palenque flying forward so that I can get an opportunity to kill those options. Because as it is, like, it's possible I could just out DPS him, but I really feel like I really feel like success is going to hinge on me getting those options out of there. I got one of them, and I didn't even see the other laser coming. I was so zeroed in. Three is the max I can do safely. I don't know why I went for a fourth one there.
I'm back. I hope you missed me. You know, if he starts with the options after a third of his health is gone, then that means he should only take, what, max, like, eight chakrams to kill? How can I not pull off eight chakrams? How can I not out-DPS him? I thought I was good at this game. What happened to me? I fell off. I used to be cracked, but now I'm just cringe. Here we go. Here we go. Not gonna mess this up. I knew I was gonna get locked out there.
If he's at the lowest position, it's actually really hard to do that strat. I never really noticed that the pattern of the things that he shoots there is different. Huh?
Set up on a mini USB cable I can steal from Sky.
Sorry about walking away. Nice. Damn it, I tried so hard. This is so frustrating. What a difficult boss to kill. I didn't stand a chance there, fuck you.
It's probably in mostly a safe space there. So, there wasn't a chance to succeed that time? Because I was pinned? Nice. Frustration! Thanks so much for the raid. Not random. This is perfectly vanilla. Just uh, one hit KO. Okay, it's rando, damn. That shouldn't be any trouble, I've only died to Palenque, what, like, over a hundred times at this point, probably? How hard could it be?
A pillar will get you, you know what I mean? You quit this game? This game's easy. There's a lot of things in this game to be frustrated by. You're good. I actually killed one of the options, and of course it wasn't enough. Okay, they're both dead. Please, God, play this safe. done. What if that actually killed you? How fucked up would that be, right?
Okay, you know what? That's on me. Don't kill me! No! I saw that fucker! I saw him! I saw the hate in his eyes! No, it's gonna get me. I've already decided I'm not fucking around with, uh... I do not remember his name, I'm sorry. Ushimalu? Is that it? Yeah, I'm just taking a guess here. Ushimalu? I'm not convinced that this guy is actually beatable, um, without, uh, without the lamp. The fire spread is very difficult to block in any meaningful way, so. Mushusu. Mushusu, okay. What a name. What a name, my guy. Is that why he's named that? Is because his name's on the tablets? Or do you think it's the other way around? His name's on the tablets because that's his name. Got a real chicken and the egg scenario there. Don't block it, grapple the wall. Hmm. Actually, yeah. I can see how that would work. You'd have to get him to target low and then jump up and grapple the wall and just pray he doesn't do a laser right after that. I know Ushimagalu, that's the one at the top, and Uma Dubrutsu, which is the the Ridley guy on the right. Those are the only two I remember their name. Not Dubrutsu, Dubrutu. Uma Dubrutu. Those are the only two names I actually know. Wait, do I know another name? Isn't, wait, isn't uh, the mermaid Kilalu? Maybe I do know another one. Kalulu.
As far as I'm concerned, knowing all the names uh, of the children in the Dimensional Corridor is where it goes from, like, cute, I'm into La Mulana, into there's a problem. The thing that I'm gonna need a lot of training for is figuring out which of the uh, which of the hair lasers are focusing on me. Because I, I feel like it's not tricky, but it requires a lot of paying attention. I've still got my script. It's up to like 30 or 40 minutes at this point. You know, the whole reason why I haven't finished that damn script and made the video is because I really can't figure out where I'm going with it. I feel like I had to ask myself half a dozen times, like, what is the point of this video? Or do I just want to make a video about La Moana? Got it, Zero. If I made a podcast about La Mulana lore, the name of the podcast would be all 13 of Tiamat's children's names in order. I don't I don't think it would be great for SEO, but um Yeah, in order of the wheel here. Maybe birth order? I tried to read some um I'm sorry, I'm I'm forgetting what civilization. Sumerian? I tried to read some Sumerian lore. Uh and I was reading about Tiamat, and I found her to be intensely unlikable and decided to stop reading anymore. Not that I necessarily was going into it hoping to like the character, but it just... I was, I was having an unenjoyable time reading. I'm like, Jesus, I hate this person. This god. I'd like to do that one day, but I, um, okay, so, like, I think there's a teacher part of my brain that does not want to try to teach something unless I feel like I understand it fully, and I don't understand La Milana lore fully.
I'm not saying anyone does, I'm saying that there's like a part of me that I can't get into the idea unless I feel like I understand it to a certain satisfaction. It's the whole reason why I haven't done my Dante Book Club stream that I wanted to do. Is because I just like keep reading commentaries and I keep feeling like, oh, I just don't understand this well enough yet to talk about it. But I'll learn. And the more I read, the less I feel like I know. I feel like I must be taking the wrong approach here. I feel like my brain thinks that I can deal a lot of damage and just dodge things, but I think I need to play way more passively. Uh, I don't think I have either move or La Mulana. I haven't bought move and I don't remember where you get La Mulana offhand. Smite, how's it going? Fuck! I saw pictures of the puppy on Twitter. I haven't, like, did, did Smite show the puppy on stream? Yeah. She's pretty mean looking, but she's got huge anime bap, so she's, she's alright in my book. I beat Palenque tonight, though. That was fucked up. Okay, first time getting through phase one. Fuck me, god. Brick. Uh, I don't know, you'd have to ask Radomero. Um, the number of deaths I had to Palenque based on his last tally, I think was high enough that that probably did surpass the Hellbats. Yeah, it took me like a hundred lives, but we got there. She's got them, them big anime bap though, like how am I supposed to be mad at her? I think as of Radamera's last count it was like 90 for Hellbats and 70 for Palenque, and I definitely put an extra 50 on the board for Palenque tonight, so... How many was it to kill Tai Sui? Um, so just like getting to the point where I could fight Tai Sui was uh, really tedious. That's where all the Hellbat deaths came from, but Tai Sui himself probably only got a grand total of like, I don't know, 5, 10 kills max. Worse said that he thought that, at least I think it was worse, said that he thought Palenque was harder than Tiamat for this. But he also said that Palenque was reactable, so, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Fail stream, thank you so much for the raid.
Well, I mean, Worse made this mod. Uh, I don't know that he's completed it himself. I think he has. But he's also watched a number of people play it, so... I think he's done just standard one-hit KO, like what I'm doing right now. I would like to maybe... do a one-finger one-hit KO. He did a randomizer of this? You've got to be kidding me. There's no way I would do a randomizer of this. That's fucked up. Yeah, because it's not- it's potentially not completable. That's dumb. <laughs> Am I? I don't know. I just have a lot of patience, and I feel like there's not enough people in the world with a ton of patience, so I have to take- I have to shoulder the burden of all of these challenge runs that other people wouldn't be willing to do. It's... I'm not... I, I'm, I'm always hesitant to use the word hero, but I do think... Um, I think I'm bringing a lot of good to the world. Uh, one finger is an achievement in this game for beating every boss, uh, with no sub-weapons in hard mode. So it would be adding one hit kill to that, basically. When is literal one finger? You know, someone mentioned one finger a long time ago as like, what if you did just a one finger playthrough? And I thought to myself for all of 20 seconds, hey, that sounds like a fun idea. And then I thought, no, that actually sounds terrible. Now two fi now we're talking two fingers. What about one hand? I'd be willing to try I think I think that actually might be a really fun challenge zero. Is like put the controller down on the table, point a webcam at it, and do I only need one hand, but like for realsies. For those of you who don't know, there's also an achievement called I Only Need One Hand, which uh is no sub weapons on bosses, but not in hard mode. Well, I have really large hands, so I think that while it would be very difficult to control, that I could control my movement and my attack at the same time. Like, if I put it down on the table, put these fingers here and this finger here, I need to build a little rig for myself to to hold the controller still. I guess I could hold the controller still with one hand. Okay, well suffice it to say this is challenging. Yeah, I guess if I were playing on the keyboard, you could do it with one hand without too much trouble, potentially. Controller till the day I die. I've got 700 plus hours in this game with controller. I'll tell you, the thought of playing on the keyboard sounds nightmarish.
You think there's like a neurological reason why the prospect of playing... So like, the, the prospect of controlling a game with two fingers on the same hand sounds a thousand times harder to me than controlling it with two fingers on different hands. Like, if I were allowed to use the pointer finger or ring finger or pinky finger of my... of both hands, that sounds actually not too bad. But, like, if I just was allowed to use my index and middle finger, that sounds like a nightmare. Does your brain multitask your separate hands differently than the way it might multitask separate fingers? I don't know how much merit there is to the whole, like, separate sides of the brain breakdown, but... Oh no, I understand, I just, I can't, my, I just, the prospect of playing on keyboard sounds very difficult to me. Because I'm so used to the idea of playing this on controller. I've played so many games on controller in my life that I'm I, I'm pretty hard I'm a pretty hardcore controller main when I get the chance. It's wild to think back because like when I was in undergrad, I would uh, I would play N64 games on emulator on a keyboard. And, like, the thought of playing games that now, for me, are intrinsically just unbelievably controller-oriented, the thought of how I ever played them that way uh, is just, I can't, I don't understand how I ever did it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess there's a bunch of types of games that I play mouse and keyboard. First-person shooter style games, like like first-person control games like that, I tend to prefer mouse and keyboard, I guess. Okay, I'm starting to think that Tiamat might be a difficult fight. I'm really starting to get the impression that either I'm just not attempting to learn this, or it might actually just be hard. What if it's both? What if I'm not putting in the necessary brain power to learn this, but also it's difficult? That seems like a terrible combination. That one hair ring, the the bottom right one, I hate it. I'm constantly too focused on the anime bat. At least this is a shorter walk back than the blanket fight was. Thank you. 
パラパパーパラパパーI like La Mulana and Tiamat. She's got a real pretty smile. She doesn't seem like nearly as big of a jackass as mythology Tiamat. Mythology Tiamat can get fucked. La Mulana Tiamat can get it. Tim up married to Anzu. At least we get to see Anzu in La Milana too. Or no. Wasn't she married to Marduk? Or what was Marduk? Is Marduk the name of her husband? Well, I know Marduk killed her, but I'm trying to remember Abzu. Abzu is the name of Tiamat's husband. primordial Babylonian goddess, and the equivalent in Arabian mythology was Bahamut. So Tiamat and Bahamut originate from the same mythology? Well, that's the reason why Marduk is used as the mantra to seal Tiamat. But isn't Abzu the bird that... No, Abzu's not the bird in La Mulana 2. Abzu's the name of the tower on the backside of Ancient Chaos, right? Isn't that Abzu's tower? I'm trying to remember where Abzu appears in La Mulana 2. I know it does. Yeah, the bird's on Zoom, not the same thing. Unless it is the same thing, it's just different spelling. Like for 
for uh, Brahmin? All I'm trying to say is Sumerian mythology is kind of fucked up. They made all of their characters suck shit. At least when it came to, you know, like the Greek pantheon, all the characters, you know, they're swinging, they're dancing, they're drinking wine. They're relatable, you know? They're, they're the everyman's gods. But Sumerian mythology is like, yeah, there were some gods, they created the universe, and we hate them. Yeah, you know, I do think it's a worthwhile question to ask why La Mulana 1 and 2 completely avoided the Greek pantheon. I mean, as far as, like, Greek mythology goes, I always saw it as more like the Titans were the shitheads who created the Earth, and then they bore the Olympians, and the Olympians kind of rule. Like, like, we think the Olympians are cool. They fuck with us a lot, but they're cool. Isn't Persephone in two? Is Persephone in two? Twin Labs seems to be Greek land here. I don't know that I read Twin Labs as being Greek mythology. If anything, Twin Labs falls in the same category as uh, Mausoleum of the Giants, where it has no uh, like real world analog. Because the Twin Labs has the twins, and it has Baphomet, and I just I don't I guess I just don't see the elements that are supposed to make it feel like it's... I, I guess I just don't see the elements. Fuck. Okay, Orpheus's harp is a legitimate reference that I am forgetting. I do want to make it clear that I don't mean that La Mulana doesn't ever reference anything from Greek mythology, though. I'm specifically meaning that La Mulana leans very hard on specific mythologies. This whole area is Sumerian. Uh, Temple of the Sun is all Egyptian. Um, and like, I just, it's a weird absence to have nothing from... Nothing from Greek mythology like that. Because, I mean, Greek mythology is just so pervasive. Oh yeah, you're right. The statue of... That is a statue of Neptune. You're absolutely right. I didn't even think about that one. Okay, I, I mean, that's one reference. I would say that that does not satisfy exactly what I'm saying, but it is worth noting. Okay, second time here. What is Dogu? I, we keep saying Dogu. I don't know what Dogu is. Is that this thing? You said Japanese. Is that this thing? Okay. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that. can't scan him. The game doesn't give you that one. There is definitely some, like, stylistically uh, Japanese things here. These these don't exactly look like shrine gates or anything like that, but they, I mean, to me, 
a not particularly well-versed person, these stylistically kind of seem like they're suggesting Japanese. The lanterns as well. I'm only going to start succeeding at this fight when I stop playing it so aggressively. There's a ton of scannable stuff in this game. Thank god it doesn't track all the scans. Otherwise we'd end up with one of those Metroid Prime scenarios on here. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Lamala 2 does have Takamagahara, which does feel like... That's where they finally decide to go a little bit into Japanese mythology. I'm not particularly knowledgeable about Japanese mythology. Um... Probably took like another 50 in this session and then I got him. I thought those Zheng Shi were Chinese, but they could be Japanese. Does Japanese mythology borrow a lot from Chinese mythology? Oh yeah, I mean, Lamla 2 definitely has a number of notable elements, Fujin and Raijin, and um, I'm trying to think of some of the other things that are in there. I mean, those are definitely the obvious ones. If only there was an upward attacking sub weapon I could use. Okay, if you're talking about flares, don't come for me about flares, okay? Flares are the most garbage weapon in this entire video game. They are worse than rolling shurikens, you just need them to solve some puzzles. Solar, you're forgetting this isn't classic. This isn't classic where every, every single sub-weapon owns. Well, I've got 14 flares. That's true, but how else am I going to prep for my one-hit KO, one-finger attempt? Look, if I want to be stubborn and do this without, without sub-weapons, by god I will. If there were a way for me to use sub-weapons less than none, I would do that every single time someone told me that I need to be using sub-weapons. I need to find a way to attack Tiamat such that she gives me back sub-weapon ammo. Well, it wouldn't be one finger if you use the gun.
<laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get a Chi Yu situation going on here where she's gonna use the sub weapons and I won't. I'm worried that the phase where she does the spray from her chest is going to be too unpredictable. Like, you can shield it, that's fine. And you can also move while you're shielding a little bit so that, um... So that the hair lasers don't target you. But, like, just getting into position depends on the hair lasers already not going in a bad angle. Is that a euphemism for the anime bop? I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, oh, giant, okay, giant rotating hair. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, but, I mean, that's gonna be technically dodgeable. I'm going to 640. At 640, I'm stopping. No, I, I didn't end up playing Oracle. By the time I was going to start Oracle, it was too late, and I just didn't want to play for only a few hours.
I always felt like I had a good handle on how to read which hair lasers were going to shoot. Maybe I'm wrong. I always thought that the ones that were going to shoot come to a stop and all the others keep moving. But I, I'm now starting to question everything I know. You know, when there's not a lot on the line, when you've got like 386 health, you're really allowed to not understand things very well sometimes. And you don't get in trouble for it. Me, God, fuck, shit. So the Lumbalana Ruins are Mom's body, right? Does that mean that if Tiamat moved the position of the Dimensional Corridor, it would be appropriate to say that she rearranged Mom's guts? Is that an appropriate way to say that? We got a lot of mixed message in here. Was Inferno Cavern built by the Giants? That would make sense why there's no, um... Oh, is it that true? That's true, though, isn't it? It was built by the Giants. That's why there's no Divine Retribution in the in Inferno Cavern. <laughs> 